William Patterson University has certainly given me the opportunity to work with bees. Not many schools have a bee lab. I've always liked insects in general. Ever since I was, you know, a little girl, I would go outside and play with bee insects. Well, Dr. Gilly, the professor here who works with the bees, he sent out an email to students. We all, you know, communicate through emails here, uh, asking if one of us wanted to work with them over the summer with his bee project. When Jessica first came to me, she she had volunteered to be a research assistant for me, and so that was a that was my own research that I needed somebody to help me out with. It was a field project. The project that Dr. Gilly is doing with the Weigel Dance is uh, analyzing the pheromone that they release when they dance, because when they dance they also release this, this pheromone that they think induces foraging behavior. It's opened a lot of doors for me and it's been a wonderful experience. An employee at the Museum of Natural History was one of the ones heading up a, a long-term, large-scale project to look at pollinator diversity. You know, we go out, we collect bees, and Various methods. The main method we use is uh, collecting them in bee cups, put blue water, blue soap water in them, leave them out about a day, go back, collect them, and pin them. The bees are labeled with, you know, date, location, and then the collector, which is my name. So, you know, out there in Museum of Natural History is a little bee with my last name on it. So that's exciting, you know? That was what, what led her to, um, to, to develop an interest in this, this, both the bee diversity project in coordination with the Museum of Natural History. I like when people come back to me and, and they say, hey, I didn't kill a bee because you told me not to, and <laughs> that makes me happy. <laughs>